effects of lockdown. Thousands of youngsters have gone back to the classroom this morning, as Simon Hare reports. Back to school, if not quite back to normal just yet. And mixed emotions amongst pupils at David Nieper Academy in Alfreton today. Can you sum up in one word how it feels to be back at school? Um, exciting. Ecstatic. Nerve-wracking. Exciting. Absolutely fine. Oh, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> the key additions to the school day, masks at all times and twice weekly COVID testing. I'm not ex overly excited about the masks because it's a bit hot wearing them, but I get the testing so you're not like spreading COVID and all that stuff. I don't really like wearing them all day, but it has to be done. The masks are probably a discomfort for some people. The tests are also a necessity, so I have no problem with them, even if they may be uh, uncomfortable. But genuine delight at being back at school with friends and more than 600 fellow students. I've missed socialising, because it's not the same online, and uh, I miss playing football, I miss doing PE. I think it's harder to learn over a computer screen then it, I'd rather have someone teaching it me in person than over the computer. Ultimately that's what we want is to have them here you know because teaching and learning is what we do um, and we do it best when they're in front of us. We thrive on working with people, we thrive on being face to face um, however I will be very clear we have not closed, we have never closed, we've been open every day, our children have done a huge amount of work. With no summer exams and GCSE grades based on teacher assessment there's plenty of incentive to work hard and behave well over the next few weeks. Simon Hare, BBC East Midlands Today, Derbyshire. Well, until now, children have been at home, of course, where many parents have picked up 